is AJ, and today we're going to be starting Made in Abyss, episode one, courtesy of a Patreon request from Pyromani. Um, I have heard of this show. I did an opening reaction on a random stream a long time ago. I actually have to find that. Um, and so I've heard of this show before, uh, but I've never watched it. Um, so uh, as usual, going into this blind, uh, if you want to recommend something yourself, Definitely check out the Yandere tier or the Waifu tier on my Patreon, and let's go ahead and start. ちょっと待っと。なんでついてくるのよ。うるせえな。俺の担当リコのすぐ上なんだよ。そういえばそうでした。ああ。じゃあ、帰りは異物運ぶの手伝ってよね。なんでだよ。だって今日は。<笑> So somebody's letting like these little kids kind of <laughs> Hold on. So these little kids are like crawling through and have insane knowledge about going down mountains and uh using these type of equipment and how did the how do these kids have this knowledge already? When I was like four, I was hitting my head against the wall and watching Barney. Insanely smart kid. What the hell? Who's doing that to you? That sounds like torture. Where the hell does that go? なんか今日は静かじゃね。土橋がいないせいじゃない。全然泣き声聞こえないもん。本当だ。ま、やりやすくていいか。あいつら光ってるのすに持ってかっちゃうしな。ん?ちょっと。They're nasty. What are you trying to find exactly? Something died there. Also, like, so it looks like they're like getting old uh, fossils or things from like maybe an ancient civil uh, civilization or something, and like, and maybe that's their goal is to bring back that type of stuff. Um, so, you know, wherever, wherever they're from. Like ancient artifacts. Oh, the hell? Uh, the dragon thing? Split jaw. Yeah, that thing can do more than just bump your head a little bit. Uh, is that like a dog whistle except for weird creatures? I, because they have a whistle, I'm guessing they have to deal with this type of stuff a lot. Maybe that's what they were talking about, something bringing back to their nests. Oh! What the... Is that like a 
Blaster? Fire attack? What can you use in this world? <sighs> Holy. Okay, that that was from far away. <laughs> Maybe it was a gunshot? Uh Oh. Oh, it was like a like a Genos beam thing from like one punch. Like that? What? What is that? Like rubber? Robot? Okay, there's a lot of unknown things in this world. I love the, like, the surroundings and how everything looks. The environment is beautiful. Nice chill song for the beginning. These characters are so, like, wholesome, but, like, in a weird, like, very dangerous world. Great song. The hell are they right? What is that? I guess that's their version of horses. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's the town and huge. Holy hell. So they have no child labor laws in this world? You're popped out of the womb. Go into the dangerous realms of the unknown. Wait, so there is adults. I was about to ask, does adults not exist? <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a chibi village, and that's it. You don't grow the pat like past two feet, two to three feet. That's it. <laughs> oh, he's almost of age to go like do labor for you. I mean, it's kind of a feat he can read that, like, book already. I congratulate him. I was barely reading picture books. I don't even think I was then. Well, if the teachers are like 13 or 14, people must die early or something. Like, not a long lifespan. Huh? <laughs> Uh, specifically for you. 
<笑>そいつを懐に入れちまうなんて<笑>何をされても文句は言えないよ。バレてる。次は裸ずりじゃ済まないからね。そのつもりで。My God。解散。Get me out of this orphanage。私が助けなかったら今頃蛇のフンですよナットのやつ。お前が助けた。はい。この笛でピーって私がおとりになって。それでお前はどうやって助かったんだ。それがもうびっくり。Robot kid。ロボット君のことまで喋っちゃうとこだったまあいい視覚的安全な深海100メートルでも何が起こるかはわからない今後は注意を、so、they all have the whistle. 私の担当をもっと深いところに変えてください査定で最高額を出したら考えてやると言ったろうが、うん、まずは単屈を効率的にこなせる能力を身につけろ私早く深部の経験を積みたいんです早く白笛になってそれでお母さんに追いつきたいんです、oh. お母さんの潜ったところまで行って These kids do have parents <笑>だいたい400メートル潜ったところで今のお前じゃ行って帰ってくるだけで終わるしばらくはおとなしく働け Why are you at an orphanage then? <笑>お前の部屋のあれどうすんだよロボットかもちろん起こすよ寝てんのかあいつそう早く起こしてあげなきゃ Yeah, but you don't even know how みんな協力して He'll react or I mean, I guess he saved you so you wouldn't think he'd be a bad person もう少し眠るほどねえシギ、押していいリコ、それ二重じゃん He's trying to sleep <laughs> Um Yeah, you don't get to sleep. You get shock therapy. It really looked like some type of beam or like fire beam thing that came out of his hand. Yeah, where is he from? That would be the better question. It does kind of look like that. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. How do you get stuck with that room? <laughs> he doesn't probably doesn't even know what that is. Probably because you just shocked him. Used a ton of electricity all at once. Let's see She's gonna be assumed to be the one doing this. Yep. She seems to be the normal troublemaker. お前、今度は何をしたえ何も大したことはあ,あそ,そんなことよりも足をぶつけたんですよいい角度で本当は痛くって本当はいい角度だったんですよちょっああおこの小細工は How do you take the またわけのわからんこと、so、I guess you can take the helmet off おい何か言うことはごめんなさい。もうしません。おう、リコ。キーゴー、リコ。ガジェットこの惨状を説明してもらう前に、まずは孤児院の掃除と反省文を書いてもらおうか。えあ、ごめんなさい。はあ
なるほどあれに捕まったらただではすまんな He seems the most mysterious. <laughs> oh, he didn't even know that. Did he lose his memory or something? Or did he not have anyone? Shigita's <laughs> Well, yeah, if you can do a grapple arm thing. レグ。君の名前、名前がないと不便でしょ。レグって名前どうかな。レグ。小物の英語。ちなみに由来は前に飼ってた犬の名前。I was going to say it sounded kind of random. ついた。もうすぐだからね、レグ。Or what? Oh, sunrise. Trying to show the beautiful scenery. It, it does look pretty deep down. I mean, it, there's a pit in the middle of it. City of the Pit. Name of the show? Oh, that's where they go to... Okay. It's like a new area or something. And they didn't learn anything in 1900 years? That's ah, okay. あなたの伝説を餌に多くの人々を飲み込んできた世界唯一最後のシーン。But why do they have little kids doing it? アビスという。Why aren't the adults doing it? That's what I want to know. Yeah, that's my question. Like. I mean, this is the first episode. We're not going to get answers, obviously. But the first things that made me think of is, like, there is obviously adults, or at least one. Um, that town is huge. And maybe we're just seeing a small, like, a, a small sample size of who goes down there. But from what we saw, it seemed like they just send, like, you have to be under 10 years old to go down there to it, to do that. So I don't... Do they just send the little kids down there? Is there a reason for that? Like, why wouldn't you have full... Wouldn't you think there'd be an advantage to be having, like, full-grown adults doing that? I, I'm wondering if that'll be addressed. Not like... That's, like, the first thing that came to my mind is, like, why do they have... It's... Because I thought maybe, oh, do people just die early or something? Is that why? But that town is huge. That place is humongous. And they also... The way they're talking about is, like... The world is bigger than just that, but that's the area that everybody kind of goes to to um, learn to like for adventures to find out about the abyss. But in 1900 years, they haven't learned anything humongous about it and they're still doing this. The place must be huge or they've all they also said at that last segment that a lot of things um, they've lost a lot of lives there and we saw the creatures and stuff. So. Uh, there must be a, a thing you have to kind of learn about to, you know, the whistle and just ways of being able to live down there as well. But I don't know. It's very mysterious. I, I knew like it, the show is called Made in Abyss. So the abyss, now we know what that is. Um, I just, I don't know. There's a lot of mystery to it. I, I'm liking, uh, I loved the the couple songs that played on there kind of, and showing the en environment and just the, the beautiful, like the scenery was gorgeous.
I love uh, the world that's being built so far. It's uh, it's just there's a lot of mystery and a lot. And sometimes I always talk about this in first episodes where you kind of get either like punched in the guts with like a, a twist or a surprise right in the beginning or just a lot of information uh, real quick or you get like it has to be a slow build. And I feel like this is more in the middle. Like we have some information, but also it's very mysterious. Like I just, there's a lot of kind of questions, but it's also, I feel like this might be one of those slow build type series. Um, but uh, I I can't really grasp it yet, but I'm liking it so far. Um, if you want to recommend something yourself, definitely check out the Yandere tier or the Waifu tier on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.